Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Going to get into Friday's main event between Daniel Bailey, Bailey, Daniel Bailey, and Edward Vasquez. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out here for every single major fight. So you got to uh, bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, we make money every single week. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Uh, get the lock of the week. We make money on all our bets on every week. We also make money on every week's lock. So get the lock. <coughs> get uh, Ask the bookie. Anything. Ask me a handicap. Break down any fight that I haven't done a video on. I will show you how to make money on that fight. There's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Also, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's fight. Daniel Bailey, Edward Vasquez, the Red Owl Promotions main event, uh, which will be seen on the zone Friday evening. Um, that's annoying. Hang on. I got a knock at my door. I'm all right. Sorry about that. I had to get a knock at the door. Uh, package delivery. All right. Let me know. All right. Uh, D Daniel Bailey, relatively unknown to, to most boxing fans. Look, decent little fighter. He comes from out of Miami, Florida. Um, no level of competition, anything comparable to Eddie Vasquez. You know, it doesn't make him bad. 13-1. Six knockouts. We saw him fight on a Red boxing card back in December. A card that Jaleel Hackett was on. Daniel Belly got a majority decision over an undefeated Malik Warren. Not a bad fighter. He's just not a world-class guy. Um, good, strong athlete. Fluid athlete. Likes to come forward. He's not super quick, uh, and he fights out of a defensive posture. He counters a bit. He can do that, but he's not real good at it. Like I said, he's not hyper fast. Like, he's not slow, but he's also not a speedster in there. He throws wide, throws a lot of hooks, digs to the body. He does some things well. He likes to come forward. He's a front foot guy. The, 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 View on this guy is that he's going to be a back foot guy, that he's going to be a mover or a runner. He's not. He likes to come forward. It's going to be an interesting test with Eddie Vasquez, who always comes forward. He leaves himself open to be counted. Like I said, he's not a bad fighter by any means, but he's not a world-class fighter either. Throws some sloppy shots. Like I said, gets wide. Not a huge puncher. He's just not a world-class guy. He's just not on Vasquez's level. He's aggressive. He can counter but likes to come forward. He loads up a lot. He kind of shows his punches. He's easy to telegraph. He's got, he's got some natural ability. He's strong. He's aggressive. He's got decent speed. He can throw in combinations. He's got, you know, fairly sharp skills when he wants to. It's just not finely tuned. It's not vetted. He's not a high-level guy yet. He doesn't have really do a world-class anything. You know, I'm not saying he's a bum or he's no good or anything like that. By any means, he's a decent fighter. Just, this is a, a major step up. It's, it's a way, way, way big step up. He fought Jonathan Javier Fierro, which was an undefeated prospect in 2022, so about two years ago, and he got destroyed in two rounds. Since then, he's fought four and six rounders. He's gotten three and oh, one stoppage, the one majority decision, one stoppage over. Jerson Ortiz, who was 17 and 10. Like, he's not a bad fighter. Just this is way he's biting off way more than he can chew here in Eddie Vasquez. Eddie Vasquez he has the two losses. He's 15 and 2. One loss is controversial. The second is ridiculous. The loss to Cordina, close fight, majority decision. 116-112 on two cards, way too wide. There's no way Vasquez only won four rounds in that fight. You go to the other, the, the decision from a couple of years ago when he lost to Raymond Ford back in 2022. That was an egregious, ridiculous decision. Ruben Rocky Taylor uh, handed in one of the worst scorecards I've ever seen, 98-92 Raymond Ford. So keep that in mind. 
But uh, good head movement, come forward fighter, applies pressure constantly, constantly coming forward. And he's a high IQ fighter, he's a high IQ guy, high ring IQ. He's on another level entirely. And look, he's a pretty decent athlete, too. He slip shots well, he can make you miss. He, he's physically strong, but he's also physically mobile and agile. He can sit there. He had a fight with uh, Brian DeGrassi, where he kind of like Pernell Whitaker him and, and, and dropped his hand and just ducked and made a miss. Uh, He's really impressive. Excellent beat. He can cut off the ring, and he can keep you trapped against the ropes. He can keep you trapped in the corner, and he, and he does work. He lets his hands go. He throws in really, really good volume. I like to see him jab a little more and really, really sit down and deliver his shots. It appears he doesn't have a ton of power, but, like, if you, if you watch him, he, his shots impact guys. I think it's just a matter of really, really sitting down on your shots, and he can have decent power. He also didn't get a bunch of tuna cans on his way up where he could just steamroll him and knock him out. And I, I think he's got more power. Not that he's a big hitter, but he's got more power than his record would suggest, which I think is two knockouts. Really good feet. Works his angles well. He can get in and out. He can slip away from shots. Good timing on his counter shots. He can punch in between your punches. He, he counters well, specifically with the right hand. This is sort of a mismatch. This this is sort of a mismatch. I, I think Eddie Vasquez may even get a stoppage in this fight. I really do. Let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on Friday's main event on the zone. Let's get rid of this. So this keeps getting worse and worse. It was just minus 1,100, minus 1,200. And if they add props on this tomorrow, join the Patreon. Uh, it's five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. I'll show you how to make money on the stoppage here. Because I, I, I strongly believe that this could be a stoppage. I want to look at the odds on it before we place that bet. But this is a, an easy two times bet. 200 bu- two, two times bet makes you $17. The odds of this keep getting worse and worse and worse. There's nothing else on this. Uh, I want to show you how to make money on it. This is an easy bet to make money on. Take the odds, 1666 on a $200 bet. It's two times bet. The odds are getting worse. I'd place this now. They're not going to get better. Eddie Vasquez is another level. Going to steamroll this guy. Again, Bailey is not a, a, a back foot fighter. He's a come forward guy. And he's going to walk into Vasquez. And, and Vasquez is just way better at it. Even if Vasquez isn't a better hitter or a bigger puncher, He's way better. He throws in better combinations. He's got better time. His skills are on another level. And I don't mean to degrade Bailey. He's not a bad fighter at all, but he's just not at the level of Vasquez. So Vasquez rolls through this fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie, all forms of social media. Uh, The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, uh, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon link. Is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. We make money every single week here. The lock this week is going to be quite good. Let me know what you guys think. Thoughts, comments below. It is May first. May already. May first, twenty twenty four. From Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.